We don't know what Christmas is all about. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, the house desperately needs to be cleaned. I've forgotten what it's like for it to just be me and the, well now kids, it was just me and the kid before. Trevor used to be gone for work all the time, so it was mainly just Kale and I. But now we've added a whole newborn into the mix. In the past two days, he's been out of the house taking care of things, so it's really just been me and the kids in the house, and I forgot how easily and quickly the house gets messed up and stays that way it's been so nice having him home <laughs> like it sucks that we were both laid off because of the pandemic but it's been so nice having us both home especially with the baby one of us can take care of the baby the other one can kind of take care of the house we switch it up a bit but he's been gone and I looked around the house last night I was like wow it is a disaster I need to get something cleaned so that's what I'm kind of showing you guys today and get ready for probably a lot more cleaning motivational videos here in the future because once my husband leaves in January I can tell I'm gonna have a lot of cleaning <laughs> that I'm gonna need to get done so I don't know about anybody else, but whenever I'm going to do like a whole house clean, I feel like I have to start in the kitchen. Normally on a daily basis, like I'll pick a spot for 30 to 45 minutes and I'll just focus on that one area. That way I feel like I got something cleaned up in the house, but an all day clean, I have to start in the kitchen. I don't know what it is, but that's just like my go-to point. But because the dishes have kind of accumulated over the past two days, I had a lot more than one load to do. And I feel personally like I can't wipe down the countertops or the stove or anything else in the kitchen until my sink is emptied out of dishes. And I didn't really feel like hand washing the rest of the dishes that were in there. So while the first set of dishes were in the dishwasher, I decided to move on into the dining room and take care of all the crafting supplies that I used yesterday for my bullet journal video. I left it all out on the table, obviously, and it needed to be picked up so I went ahead and moved on to different parts of the house until I could go back and finish the dishes in the kitchen and then finish the rest of the kitchen. Skies of a different light, why noise it keeps me up at night? I can't help but think back to you. I wish that I could find a face that I would recognize. I replay the memory of you. It's been hard, you know I wanted to stay caught so far. But there was no other way. Did you wait? So I've been counting. So normally I do have four candlesticks on the table and there's normally four candles on there, but I only had two more left. So I'll definitely have to go back to the store and get some. And I still haven't found any Christmas napkins. I'm kind of going to give up on this year trying to find cute Christmas napkins to go with the rest of my table. I really didn't do a grand Christmas tablescape this year like I normally do. It was kind of bummer. I couldn't find anything that I really liked, but hopefully next year it can be a little bit more intense. But next, I'm moving on into the living room and the little nook area. You guys let me know in the comment section down below. So we've repainted the whole house. I don't know if you guys saw it on my old channel, but you know, we repainted everything white except for the nook. It's still the same color as our kitchen was originally before we painted it white. And I'm trying to convince Trevor that I want to paint it white. I'm going to get a new desk because the desk that we have there now, it's been in my family for, I want to say like seven decades, if not more. I've had it for at least, I believe, 10 years. But unfortunately, it just keeps falling apart. We keep having to put it back together and it doesn't really go with my style anymore. So I'm wanting to paint the nook white to go with the rest of the house. I want the shelves to be more of a natural wood, not white anymore. And I want the black and like wood accents to kind of go with the flow of everything else in the house or paint the nook like a charcoal gray and then have the white, black and 
wood accents in there. Trevor still wants the blue, but I just feel like it it doesn't go with the rest of the house. The way it's set up, it doesn't match the rest of the aesthetics going on in our home. And so I'm like trying to convince him, but you guys let me know, should we keep it the blue and I can find a way to redecorate it to kind of have it match? Or should we repaint the nook and do like a whole nook makeover? Let me know what you guys think. But after that, the I did end up having lunch and then the dishes were done. So I went and unloaded the dishes and then reloaded the dishwasher and I was able to finish off the rest of the kitchen. So if you're curious to what we are smiling and laughing about, you'll see Trevor here in a second. He's doing the laundry, but we're watching The Office. I've watched the whole series twice and now Trevor is finally, I've restarted it a third time and Trevor is finally watching it with me. He wasn't really into it at first, but I think now you have to just get past those first few episodes and then it becomes kind of addictive. He's really liking it so far. We also really love Vampire Diaries. We've watched that series a couple times and New Girl is also one of our favorites. You guys let me know what you like to binge watch on Netflix because we are kind of looking for a new show to get into. But yes, I am watching The Office for the third time and let me know if you guys are Office fans or not. Let me know what you think about it. And then I finally got to open my new cordless vacuum. This was my Christmas present to myself. I bought it on Cyber Monday because it was such a great deal and I had been wanting one of these for a really long time but before I got into vacuuming the hardwood floors I went into our master bedroom and just kind of picked up and wiped things down and made the bed you guys I think I finally found a dresser that we like I haven't bought it yet just because I'm not able to get it right now due to the whole pandemic like it's just not available for me to buy but I have my eye on one and I'm hoping that I can get it soon and I am hoping that in the next couple months I can start decorating and revamping our master bedroom. That's the hope. I found a dresser, so that's a good start. Totally in love with the new cordless vacuum. It is so much lighter, which is a huge relief for me because my back is honestly just killing me lately. I don't know if it's because I've had the epidural twice, but any type of labor that I do that's longer than 30 minutes, I'm just in a lot of pain. And I had done hours of this, so being able to just use a lighter vacuum really made a big difference for me. And at this point, honestly, I was ready to cry. I had been at this for a while and Navy started to get antsy. So I figured this would be just time for me to call the cleaning for the day. So I ended up just turning on Karen. For those of you who don't know, Karen is our robot vacuum and let her do her thing. She doesn't always get everything, but she at least gets 
something here and there and then I just kind of relaxed. I didn't get to the rest of the bedrooms or our bathrooms in this video, but honestly, I did what I could and the house honestly just looks so much better, so I'm happy for that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a great rest of your night and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.